All right, let's go in. So like I said, he is, you know, not exactly a ninja. He is just a big brawler. You can see here, he's Just got, big hits, right? Like he's yeah. just pummeling you, is basically Big hits, it. big grabs. He's using his strength to his advantage, yes. that's for sure. Not very acrobatic. No, no. Well, he Although does he that like little tumber roll. Yeah. <laughs> One of the normals I'd like to talk about is his 4-4, four four, which is kind of his long range mid. You can go into combos, hit confirm it, all that good stuff. He's got his forward one, which doesn't have the best range, but it's advancing. It's a good hook. Yeah. I can see how that kick can really take people off guard too. You get exactly. a nice range to it. And then lastly, I'd like to talk about his 2-2, because it goes into... He's not wearing a 2-2. <laughs> it goes into this grab, and this is a true grab. If they're blocking, they'll get hit. And from here, it can be a restand that you can do at the end of combos, or you can cancel and do EX moves and a few other special moves. So it could be a combo extender or a combo ender to keep him on the ground. Another thing about his normal attacks is he's got this pistol, which he uses for his sweep, his down three, his down four. So it's like... Why use your body when you have a gun? Exactly. He can shoot you in the toe as a low poke instead of doing a little karate kick. He's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precision. And then I want to show his throw where he uses his patented peace shield. I swear I've seen that move before. It's so familiar. And then his forward throw where he uses Janet. Jan with the wind up. Incredible. So let's talk about the special moves. Okay. And this is where it gets interesting and I feel like the personality really comes out. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll start off, he has his gunshot. It's not the quickest to draw, but as a projectile, it's super, super fast and has a long trail. One neat thing is if you EX it, he does multiple, and they actually are stunned and he can get a combo. So you can use it as a distance to like trade. Mm -hmm. Or as a combo extender up close. Oh my god, I'm so old and bad. I'll play it safe. There you go. There, it still works. Yeah. He also has another projectile, which is his blow dart. <laughs> do the walky thing. You gotta yeah, where he can walk forward. I love, I love the way he walks forward. He can cancel it. You can use this as a preemptive anti-air or as a combo extender. I, I've seen some QA videos at Matt's day of the blow dart, and it's yes. just fun. It's very funny to use two of them in the corner to keep them going. And it's another one of the moves that can extend a combo mm -hmm. and keep it going. Or you can just use it up close, <laughs> low dart cancels. <laughs> the or mind you can games. Just admire how funny it looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Then he can use his helmet, which he has a bunch of gadgets. He has a sonic boom. And this is a long range combo starter. And if he EX it, he actually can do a jump cancel and go into extenders. Ooh! ooh. He also has Torpedo. As he should. Which is, and one of my favorite things about him is the way he says his moves. Yeah, he's such a chatterbox. Yes, his I absolutely love that he's saying Torpedo when he does it. Mm -hmm. The EX version has armor, and this is kind of, you know, you're struggling to get in, you think Wake up move. a fireball. Yes, exactly. Good, look, it's old school YOLO move for me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He can also use his anti-gravity device in his helmet. Tell me more. Where'd he go? Go up and come down with an overhead attack. He can choose to be in front of them, behind them, or this is very neat, you can hold up and actually come down. Oh, come down swinging. Mm, all right. right. The EX move is very interesting because it turns into an escape. I'm out of here. You actually fly away, so if they block a punishable attack, you use it to get away. You can also hold up to then go into the regular version and drop down. So they're gonna have to like see, are you using it to get away? Or actually you can use it to get away, but then, nope, I'm actually using it to get in. Nope. So although it's so dorky, it's still like a huge mind game. Yes. Yeah, and I love how he doesn't exactly look graceful or coordinated no, when bad. he lands. It's so good. Like he's even surprised by it. Yes, then. he can't believe it actually works. <laughs> then what's really cool is his uh, force field where he activates it, and now he will be immune to projectiles. Oh. And the EX version will briefly push them away and reflect projectiles. 
Mm. Yeah, right. If you hit right in that yellow moment, yes. it will reflect. Yes. Fun fact: If you do that during a survive mission in invasions, you just ignore all the projectiles. Yeah, that's 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 helpful. <laughs> helpful <laughs> too. Typically, Natara and Sindel are my go-to in survival uh -huh. modes, and he's definitely going to be the best. He's going to just get to stand yeah. here. So that's kind of his uh, helmet gadget moves. He can also use eagerly in numerous moves. So let's check those out. And these are really fast, versatile projectiles. Eagly! You can summon eagerly. It does have a cooldown. So I was just going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't spam it. Eagerly has to make his way down. back. That's exactly right. Like you got to think about it. Science. It's not just game balance, it's lore. Yeah. Yeah. We should unblock, too, because it's yes. really cool. Oh, he's like, what the heck? Just gets out of here. Then he has a low version of Eagly that will pop the opponent up for combo starter. Again, a very quick low. Goes into a combo. You can just use it to extend combos, stuff like that. And then lastly, this is one is really cool. Can you hit R1 for me? I can. What? Eagerly can come out and then stun <laughs> their cameo for the entire length of this. Is animation. he doing an eagle ality? No, he it is work. so good. He's going in on it, yeah. Oh man. Right. Eagly's the MVP. Yeah, so basically in a nutshell, I think Peacemaker will be will have some decent pressure up close. I don't think he'll really have strong 50-50s. You know, you'll have to use maybe a cameo to get good overhead and stuff like that, but he'll hit really hard, he'll have really cool combos. Um, some pretty good counter zoning, and he's really, really funny. Yeah, no, he's so, goofy. And I think that's probably the most important thing. So let's check out his super move, and I love the beginning of this. Well, I love the whole thing, but... Sure. It's goofy. 